everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Babies. So you're not with Butler Hide today? Yes. He's not feeling very well today, actually. So I'm bringing him this flower bouquet. Hey, come to think of it, when I talked with him on the phone the other day, he said he was exhausted by the heat. Gosh, now I'm really worried about him. Yeah, I'm worried too. I'm home. Hey, Mom. Guess what? Butler Hide got sick from the awful heat, and now he can't do anything. Oh, that's awful. So after lunch, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to him. Well, tell him I hope he gets better soon. Maruko! Huh? Did you just say that poor Hide contracted heat stroke? Here we go. I may not have told you this, but, but, but the truth is I've always admired that man. He may be an old fellow like me, but he's respectable. And if anything happened to him, I'd just, I'd just, uh, please don't let him die. Don't worry, Grandpa. <laughs> he's just hot. He's not dying or anything like that. Here, Maruko, take this special herbal medicine to Hide for me, would you? No problem. And if you could, uh, give him my best regards as well. Sure thing. I'd be happy to do that for you. And also, uh... Could you give this letter to him for me two tags? Seriously? Does this mean that Grandpa wants to become pen pals with Butler Hide? No. <laughs> hey, Hamaji! Uh, oh, hey, how are you? Where are you off to? Oh, I'm heading to the shrine to play for a while. I'm going to meet Nagasawa and Fujiki there. Well, I'm going to visit Butler Hide because he's not feeling so well. He's what? Are you serious? That's terrible. What's wrong with him? It's not a big deal. Just a little heat stroke, that's all. But he's not exactly a young man, so I'm kind of worried. No kidding. I'm coming with you! Hey, Tama-chan! Huh? Guess who? Hamachi's coming too? I was gonna play with the guys at the shrine, but I came here instead. What? Won't they be mad? I don't care. Butler Hide is more important than a casual promise or two. Hamazaki's really late, huh? Uh, maybe he forgot he was supposed to meet us here and went somewhere else instead. I don't believe that. Hamazaki isn't that kind of person. Whatever. These mosquitoes are eating me. I'm gonna head home now. Oh, go ahead. I won't try and stop you. See ya. Goodbye, traitor. You obviously don't understand what true friendship is. I have faith in Hamazaki. He'll be here. I just hope someday you develop that faith too, Nagasawa. Uh -huh. Huh? It's Nagasawa. Oh, rats. Huh? Hey there, Hamazaki. What are you doing walking around with these two? Actually, we're heading over to Hanawa's house. The thing is, Butler Hide is really sick, so we're all gonna go and pay him a visit. What? Butler Hide's sick? That's just terrible news. We can't waste time playing childish games. 
You don't mind if I come too, do you? Good afternoon! Come in. I have a surprise for you. My friends have all come to visit. Uh? I hope we're not bothering you. How are you feeling, Butler Hide? Sorry you're not feeling well. My goodness. You all came here just to visit me. Of course we did. We care about you so much, you see. And we wanted to say thank you for caring about us. Oh. That's right. Thank you for always being so kind to us. You're so nice, and I... I wanted to say that I really like our conversations, so please hurry up and get well soon. I'm so fond of you, Butler Hide. I hope you feel better soon. And so do I. <laughs> oh, goodness. Please don't cry. Don't be sad. Uh, I'm not sad. I'm happy because I'm so lucky. When a feeble old man like myself can receive such kindness from young people, well, it truly is a special day indeed. Come on, don't say that you're an old man. Yeah, he's right. You're not a feeble old man. Do you hear what they're all saying? You're the most respectable man I know. But, Master, I... Butler Hide has been faithfully serving this house for 45 years. 45, 45 years? years? Correct. Butler Hide came to the Hanawa Estate 45 years ago now. It's a great honor to be working here. There he is, fresh out of Butler College. That spring, he was just 23 years old. He was an excellent, respectful man from the outset and immediately earned the trust of the head of the Hanawa family. You are always so helpful, Hide. It's very comforting to know that I'm of use to you, sir. Thank you for your kind words. At the time, the Hanawa family head was Hanawa's grandfather. He was a lawyer and a landowner who was well known for miles around. At the same time, being young and smart, Hide caught the attention of all the girls in town, including a particularly beautiful girl named Toshiko, who also worked at the Hanawa estate. Uh. Hide, if you only knew how I adore you. But Hide also had feelings for Toshiko. Toshiko, I... I wish... Over time, Hide and Toshiko fell in love. Oh my goodness, that's so romantic. It's such a beautiful story. That's just the start. There's more to the story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One of the workers at the Hanawa estate was extremely jealous of their relationship. <laughs> his name was Kuyama Tomezo, and his thrifty ways had allowed him to save up a small fortune. Everyone secretly called him the Penny Saver. <laughs> Now, the penny saver really liked Toshiko, and he couldn't stand Hide, since he was so clearly the master's favorite staff member. Tomezo's head was completely filled with thoughts of Toshiko. He soon began to obsess about ways to steal her away from Hide. Ah! The master's favorite vase! Uh -huh. Buy my precious vases in pieces. Who, who, who could have done such a thing? It was Hide. I saw him walk into this room last night with my very own eyes. <laughs> Hide, I'm sorry, but you must leave this house at once. There can be no excuses. But, Master, it's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> but just then, divine assistance appeared for Hide in the form of Ayone, the lady in charge of laundry at the Hanawa estate. Sorry, but it couldn't have been Hide, and I'll tell you exactly why, and that's because he was helping me with the ironing all last night. Oyone? Hold on, do you mean Grandma Oyone, who lives close to my house? You got it, baby. Grandma Oyone worked in my house as a living maid when she was young. Let me tell you exactly what I saw. I was going back to my room after going to the bathroom, and I saw him. It was Tamezo sneaking out of this room. <gasps> You really have bad luck, don't you, Tamezo? Being spotted by this sharp-eyed girl? Now your little scheme of getting rid of Hide is wrecked. You should have known that this sad little plot to win Toshiko's heart would never work. Right? It didn't work, did it? And so poor Tamezo was fired at once. He also lost all of his saved pennies, which he had used to pay for the vase. But they didn't cover the cost. It was very, very expensive after all. He ended up having to take out a loan. Needless to say, 
His spirit and his bank account were ruined. Why? Why did it do that? The Tanizo the Vasebreaker story was gleefully passed down through the years by the staff of the Hanawa estate. Boy, did he get what was coming to him. <laughs> oh, what a relief. I'm so glad you didn't get into trouble for breaking that expensive vase. You're kind. It's so sweet of you to consider my feelings. Thank you, children. Hello, is that little Shige of the Fujiki oh. family? Oh, hello, Grandma Oyone. And what are you doing here sitting all alone, my boy? I, um, I'm waiting for a friend, actually. It's been two hours now. And I'm beginning to think he's forgotten about me. It's really not a nice feeling at all. Oh, now, you shouldn't give up yet. But it's been so long. You need to remember the value of friendship, young man. After all, your friends are the ones who will help you in times of crisis. Help each other in times of crisis? But neither of those two guys have ever helped me with anything. Does it mean we're not real friends? Maybe. Maybe we're not friends at all. Oh, this is awful. Oh, stop looking so down in the dumps. You need to get happy, kid. Ah. The friends you make when you're young are your most important friends. You know, I've been friends with Hide for 45 years. He works at the Hanawa house, in case you didn't know. Uh, are you serious? But, but how did you become friends with Butler Hide? Almost anything's possible when you're young and full of fun. Don't give up on your pal now. Fujiki has no idea about anything at the moment. About the friendship between Grandma Ayone and Butler Hide. About the reason why Hamaji never showed up. To be continued. So, what happened after that? Did you and Toshiko get married or something like that? Yes, indeed. Toshiko and I got married soon after that. It was on a beautiful cherry blossom spring day when Hide 24 and Toshiko 19 started their new life together. Toshiko must have been beautiful then. I really want to see her. You don't have a photo of her, do you? Yes, of course I do. This was taken when she was 20 years old. <sighs> Look at her, she's beautiful. Butler Hide's daughter is also exceptionally beautiful. When Hide was 25, their daughter was born. Since she was born in the spring, they named her Haruko, and she was a healthy, happy baby. These days with his beloved wife and lovely child were some of Hide's happiest and most peaceful, and they lasted a while. Until the Pacific War broke out. Hide received his draft papers two years after the war began. He was 37 and his wife was 32. Toshiko, thank you for the wonderful times. Haruko, make sure you do as your mother says. Haruko was 11 years old. Daddy, don't go! Uh, Please stay here with us. Don't go away! <laughs> Haruko, you need to be strong now. Daddy, I don't want you to die. Please come back to us. Come back alive. Please don't let anything hurt him. I want him to come back. Come soon. Hurry. 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 Hurry up. What is taking you so long, Hamazaki? <sighs> I should just go home now. But I can't because I promised Nagasawa I'd wait for him, and I can't give up now. Uh, uh. It's raining! Ah! And now I'm freezing too. I'm so cold. I'm so cold, Mommy. Why can't we turn the stove on? We need to have heat. My sweetheart, come, I'll hold you. <laughs> Where's Daddy? He's still alive, isn't he? Or is he dead, do you think? Of course he's not dead. He'll come back to us very soon, honey. I want Daddy. At that exact moment, Hide was on an island where a fierce battle was raging. Hey, Hide, I hear they've been attacking Hanshu. You must be really worried about your wife and daughter, huh? 
Of course, I'm extremely worried. I'm hoping desperately that they'll be safe. Toshiko, Haruko, please stay safe. I hope this war ends soon. I want to go home. I want to go now. Did I tell you that I'm going to be getting married soon? Her name is Mitsuko. Come on, you're too young to be getting married. You're only 20. But why should I be apart from the person I love fighting this silly, pointless war? Mm, good point. I can't argue with you. This war is... No. No. <gasps> Don't move a muscle. Stay totally still till he goes away. Don't move an inch. I may as well wait. I can't go anywhere anyway. Oh, man, I wonder when the rain will stop. When's that Hamazaki gonna show up? My whole life has been reduced to waiting. Oh, this is silly. I don't know why I'm so unlucky. Maybe someone put a curse on me. Oh, man, it's like someone put a curse on us. Okay, Hide, I'll distract him and you grab the chance and run away, all right? No, don't try to be a hero, Hiraoka. Look, Hide, you have a wife and a daughter waiting at home for you, but not me. I don't have a wife or a kid. It's better that you survive instead of both of us dying here in vain. Take care, Hide. Don't do this! You have a fiancé and a mother and a father waiting for you at home as well, don't you? Why should you sacrifice yourself for me? It makes no sense. We're in exactly the same position. We'll die according to our ages. That's the natural order. Hey, fellas. Hands up. <gasps> Well, I guess that's that, then. I'll see you on the other side, Hiraoka. It's strange, but I'm not afraid. I know. Neither am I. Well, then, my Toshiko, Haruko, I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye! Oh. What, what was that? Did you hear an explosion just now? Or was it my imagination? I heard it, too. And I thought... I heard a voice like Daddy say something. Y your father's voice? Did you hear what he said? Haruko, tell me! Toshiko. Haruko. <laughs> Goodbye! I knew it. So that's it. He's gone. He's gone forever. My love, it's over! He's gone forever! Hide! 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 Hide, wake up! Are you okay? Uh, Hiroka? Uh, we're, we're alive. <coughs> he must have stepped on a mine. <coughs> Goodbye, Mary. I love you. What are we even doing here, Hide? Why are we even fighting this silly war? You know what? I don't even know what we're fighting for. I don't either. I just hope it finishes soon so I can go home. Two years later, the war ended. Mom! Mom! Someone told me that Dad oh. is back! Haruko, it's not funny to joke about that. Help me with the dishes. But Mr. Sakai saw him at the station. Come on, let's go and check it oh. out. What do we have here? Oh, this is good timing. You two look like you're on your way out. Daddy is reporting for duty. Uh, Daddy, you're back! Oh, 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 and so, after a long hiatus, Hide's happy family life began again. What a relief. You spent the rest of your time after the war with your wife and daughter. That's good, isn't it? Oh, no, my dear. That's just simply impossible. Haruko got married 16 years ago now. And Toshiko passed away ten years ago. What? <gasps> Toshiko's dead? No way! But how? Well, unfortunately, in her later years, her health had begun to decline. It was one of those things. She caught a cold which progressed into pneumonia. Just before she went, she gave me a big, happy smile and said, It was a wonderful life. Thank you, Hide. And with those words, she was gone. I don't believe what I'm hearing. You gave her such a happy life. But it turned out so sad for you. You lost your beloved Toshiko. Yes. But soon she died after an angel showed up and saved me from despair. An angel? An angel in the form of the young master right there. Does he mean me? 
I'd lost my wife, and I was an old man. I felt like I had nothing to live for. But my old master offered me an important job, looking after his newborn son, and of course I jumped at the chance. From that day on, this young man gave me a new lease on life. At Lahide! But Lahide! But Lahide! Guys, you should go home now. The sun's going down. Okay, see ya! There you go. My grandpa told me to give these to you. Oh, thank you very much. I never knew. Oh, well, I guess I'll head home. Who am I? What am I even doing here? I wonder how Hamazaki spent those hours when I was just sitting there on my own. The sun's setting. And Nagasawa, he left right away. How did he spend his afternoon? Uh, the first star. Not that it really matters. I bet they all wasted their time in one way or another. At least I got to spend the time outside in nature. That's somewhat rewarding, isn't it? Oh, a bat. If they'd gone to Hanawa's house, I'd be jealous, but I know that didn't happen, so it's okay. Oh boy, I'm ready for this day to be over. Wowee, that was one wacky day, wasn't it? You're not kidding. I'll never forget Butler Hide's story. Me neither. Uh, hey, it's Fujiki. Uh, uh, Hamazaki! What have you guys been up to? And Nagasawa, why are you with them? We were all hanging out at Hanawa's house. Tama-chan and me were paying Butler Hide a visit because he got sick. And we bumped into Hamaji and Nagasawa on the way. Uh, you went to Hanawa's house? Are you serious? Fujiki, friendship is the most important thing. You understand that, right, old buddy, old pal? Uh, of course I do. After waiting all day and getting soaked by the rain, he really understands it. The only reason he did that was because Hamaji is his friend. Come on, old buddy, old But what pal, I don't understand is why isn't he saying anything anyway, to Hamaji? Was Fujiki crying just now? What? No, I don't think he was. 